This is standard um, single LED RGB tape where every LED alternates in colour. Blue, red, green, blue, red, green, blue, red, green. It's not the 50-50 tape where they're combined. And up to now, I thought that these were all wired in sections with the cuttable section and then three blues, three reds and three greens, then the matching resistors and then another cutting position. But I just discovered something today. Watch this. So there it is lit up and I'm going to start turning the voltage to it down. And as I turn the voltage down, progressively all the LEDs initially get dimmer, but because the blue and green have a lower, uh, higher forward voltage, the reds will tend to sort of be left on. But look. So now I've got three reds, but these clusters of two blues, two reds and two greens on, and I keep turning the voltage down. And finally, at about four volts, as the last of the green goes out, at 4.1 volts, I'm left with pairs of reds. And the only way that can happen, especially on such a regular basis, is if they're wired in sections of two as well as three. So, if you take a close look at the tape, and I'll just turn the power supply off here. If you take a look at, closer look at the tape, the first section from the power end just has six LEDs, and then it's got the cut, and then it's got the nine LEDs, then the cut, then it's got six LEDs, then nine LEDs, then six LEDs. And it's uh, these tapes tend to be made in sections and then soldered together. And uh, if you look at other bits of tape like this uh, warm white one, you'll find that the solder connection is pretty much at the same, rough same position from the end. And it measures exactly 500 millimetre. And I wonder if they've in, found that, you know, a multiple of three just didn't fit in that. Because uh, th I'm not sure how they manufacture this. I don't know if they manufacture it from a huge sheet and then cut it into slices and then join them end to end. <laughs> but if the multiple of three didn't fit, then maybe they actually decide to make it multiples of three and two and three and two. The other slight possibility is that maybe it's to allow greater versatility and fit it into given spaces, but I doubt that for some reason. I'm not 100% sure. It's a, it means that, technically speaking, the, the strip is a wee bit less efficient because the, each set of circuits on 12 volt, each set of the pairs instead of the triples, is going to draw the same amount of current, but it's just going to dissipate that extra heat in these resistors. So, um, yes, that's pretty odd. In fact, just let me think. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. 30 divided by 9 just doesn't fit. So that must be why they're doing it, to keep that sort of standard spacing. Interesting. Um, quite... Uh, have to keep an eye out for that. Uh, I'm not sure if it's going to affect anything in the future. It certainly does affect the efficiency a little bit, but it's just interesting they did that.